Hi, it's Maria here from Gabriel Fine Arts. Uh, welcome to the opening reception of the Universal Language Exhibition at the beautiful Montserrat Contemporary Art Gallery in Chelsea, New York. Uh, we will be here for another month. Uh, the exhibition will be open until the 28th of June. Uh, we are featuring 11 artists from across the globe, um, so please come down to see the show. Hi, my name is Allison Harrell. I'm an artist. I've been making image-based and now mixed-media art pieces for about 20 years. I primarily make works driven by the hope to transmit messages. Uh, one of the primary elements that I use both in the process of my work and hope to bring to the presence of the images or the works themselves is light. I really love working with light, both physically as well as the story of light and the inspirational feeling that it brings. My photography process is obviously tied to light capture, but from there I also work in a variety of post-production ways to manipulate the presence of light from a digital format to a highly reflective object in some cases, light boxes, as well as reflective sculptural planes that both do and sometimes do not incorporate the images. The process with the subject matter is also a celebration of light and in particular the hope to have an empowering experience. I work with real people uh, most often that I get to know or either know well already and we explore a celebration of what inspires them to feel good about themselves and work in a variety of figurative planes, often using uh, body paint or very simple settings to create a sculptural historical reference and then create moments that photography affords which are flashes of time and cannot really be replicated and so we freeze those moments with the historical exploration and the presence of the person included and that's the basis point for the images that get transmitted onto metal um, light boxes and sometimes sculptures. My hope for viewers in regards to these images and the stories that they're telling and even actually physically being in the presence of light, whether it's the reflected reflection of light by choosing materials that have a true specular um, reflection back to them their own reflection is actually becoming a part of the image as they get closer to it, or they're actually standing in uh, close proximity to a light source itself that's included in the piece, is an uplifting or empowering feeling. I truly believe that if people can feel even just a little bit better based on some message or some experience or some visual that they encountered, that that little bit better translates on how we treat each other, maybe a little bit better. And I think the more people can feel better in themselves, the better everyone will treat each other and that the world actually becomes a better place. So my work is about small stories that hope to inspire little kernels of this with some truth and some beauty and some references and lots of color and light. Um, I've been asked to do a little uh, speech about what it is I do. Um, well, it's all in my bio, but uh, I've been an advertising artist uh, for many, many years, um, illustrating, um, painting, animating in various different styles for various different clients globally all over the world. And all that time, I've uh, been painting my own, my own stuff, uh, work that inspires me, um, and I guess accumulation of all those years 
um, I've developed my own style, um, which is, uh, as you will see there, uh, and you see perhaps behind me. Um, it's an accumulation of everything that I've worked in in all my years. Um, uh, I love color, fashion, uh, music, creativity. It, it, every, every artist is gonna tell you the same thing. You're inspired by the world around you. And um, yeah, and my art hopefully reflects all of that. Um, do we suffer? I guess we do, but I don't. I absolutely love what I do. Um, I go to work with a big, huge smile on my face because I get to paint. Um, I get to paint all the wild dreams that are in my head. Um, and uh, two of which you'll see there at the exhibition, which is the accumulation again of uh, many years of working with various different people. Um, the 3D effect, which is very new and unique. Um, and uh, it sort of reflects the preciousness of life. Um, how delicate um, life can be um, in all its beauty and all its sadness. Um, so yeah, rather than go on and on and on, um, if you want to know more, obviously speak to Gabriella or, or um, check my workout and my uh, and my Instagram. Uh, again, this is Mitin Sali. Hope you have a fabulous evening. Ciao. Eleonora McGinty-Series. I usually sign as EM and that's because I believe that uh, art makes no distinctions and inspiration has no boundaries. So in general what I do is uh, I work with, uh, I start working with ink pen. I start an idea and I finish it with very linear um, sketches, very fine lines. I work very very quickly and because I work with ink pen first it makes um, I can actually not make a mistake. So it's just a continuous process of imagination, thought, and I work on emotion. I always try to depict in a way the human mind and an emotion. And I like to have a, and make a story. So what I do is I then take my sketches and I transfer them onto canvas. When I work on canvas, some of the details are lost and I work a little bit more freely because I play with the spatula, I like mixed media, I like to experiment. Now because I'm very impatient and I like to see something very, very fast and I work very quickly, I usually work with acrylic. So I try to do a combination of acrylic and pen many, many times. Uh, I will have stories connected to my artwork which will help you understand the process of thought. Within a large picture, there are very, very small pictures which contribute to what I want to say, to all different emotions and how everything leads to a climax. I would like you to follow me on my journey of emotion, thought, and um, well, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Karin. I'm from Switzerland and I'm an architect. Um, welcome to the show. These are my two uh, paintings. It's uh, acrylic on canvas and basically I'm inspired of the big cities. Oh, it's not especially one city. It's not one Manhattan or Chicago. It could be every city in the world. It's just I'm inspired of the facades and what's behind the facade, these little figures. It's, uh, mainly it's here my Lady Rose, I love Lady Rose, to, to show her, her life, where she's working and also what she's doing after work, maybe there is a shadow person behind.
welcome to our group exhibition Universal English Language. I'm Natalia Schäfer and sending you warm greetings from Germany's region called Fairy Tales Road, where Green Brothers lived. I'm a full time artist since 15 years and uh, self taught and later graduated in graphic design as Bachelor of Art. My art forms are folk art, abstract, and spiritual art. Three of my spiritual art paintings uh, you can see at, at the current, currently art show. This is Genesis. A special piece of my heart. It's mixed freehand intuitive painted artwork. I was inspired by the quote of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, learn how to see and realize that everything connects to everything else. And it, it is my expression of love to Mother Earth. The next painting called Rosengarten or Garden of Roses in English. I was inspired by sunny beautiful day and in the middle you see stylized uh, sacred geometry symbol flower of life meaning circle of creation. And finally the peacock is from my series Sacred Animals, meaning pride, beauty, and grace. I wish you a lovely time and enjoy the exhibition at Montserrat Gallery. Sabine, Sabine Oecking, I'm a painter from Germany. My topic of painting is luck is happiness is life. Then I started the series um, happiness and life. I thought about which colors to use and, and how to do it. And I decided that kind of rainbow colors should be the right thing because you know if you see a rainbow you feel like blessed you feel like wow I'm so happy yeah I thought that would be a perfect choice and I started the series in a complete abstract way of painting not like in former times they were painting like Adam and Eve and paradise which is nice but it's a little bit old-fashioned. I wanted to do something modern, something contemporary, something um, kind of sexy. Yeah? And I um, made my color choice and then I combined all those colors together uh, in a pattern with uh, something which is um, chaotic, something which is like organized, like, you know, like life, yeah, you have this, you have that. Um, I used stencils, um, stencils because this is, this has a lot to do with real life. It's like getting up every day, which is absolutely the same thing, but it will never turn out perfectly the same but it looks the same, it feels the same, like, 
your daily routine, like brushing your teeth. You do it the same way, but it's never ever 100% the same. And this goes also for stencils. This is why I was using stencils for it. And all these paintings of that series have something which is an imperfectness, something which I do into my work. This is like you you have scars, yeah, you something hits you, you have something in your face, uh, some some hurts, something which hurts you. And it it is not that happiness is not there, it it even creates more of it and um, you are more blessed and more um, sure what is happiness, yeah? It makes you think about it. Well, um, so far from my side, if you want to know more, um, come visit my homepage or check out my account on Instagram or Facebook. Bye bye for now. This was Sabina again. Hello, my name is Katerina Panagiotopoulou. I'm a photographic and video artist from Greece, based in London. With my work, I want to explore the human emotions and the dark side of the human mind and create stories by blending facts and fiction. My artwork, Feel, is a series of photographs about the unconscious somatic response to music. The seeds of this idea stem from my deep connection and the love I have for music. According to neuroscience, people who get chills from the music have a slightly different brain structure from those who don't. Phil captures emotions in a performative manner via dancing, twisting, spinning around, crying, screaming, playing air drums all possible human responses evoked by this powerful external source that music is. Phil was recorded with a handmade pinhole analog camera I created, combining my interest and appreciation for early photographic sources and of course allowing me to sink into the tunes deeper and express my emotions due to the longer exposure times. Feel is an observation of my very intimate feelings while I'm in the state of trance under the influence of music. I hope you enjoy it and eventually feel both consciously and unconsciously a stream of emotions. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diane Ponder, and uh, this is uh, one of my paintings at this show. And uh, it's uh, abstract, but it also figurative. It started in a open figure studio. It's all the same model, different poses, and um, but combined in an abstraction, uh, primarily acrylic and on canvas. And I've been doing uh, figurative work for a number of years.
Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Milan Schwanderlich and I'm London-based photographer and artist. I was born in Northern Bohemia and was educated partly in Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and later in England. I studied botany at Croatia, but as a young professional I moved to Switzerland. But then in early 70s I relocated to England and it is there that I studied photography. I initially worked as a photographer for civil service, but later on I combined the two professions and worked at the Royal Botanic Gardens Q managing department which was responsible for all the photography, all the design and publishing too. All my life I have been observing the extraordinary diversity, beauty of nature, people and life in general. But yes, plants featured frequently in front of my lens. Eight black and white images now displayed in New York Gallery, belong to those, to that study of plants, which were all created in the early 70s. Very simple, lit with single light, and there were observations of plants' shapes and textures. They were first time exhibited at the Photographer's Gallery here in London in 1977 and they were well received but some found them as sexually suggestive and even erotic. Well this is hardly surprising considering the flowers are sexual organs of the plants. But all of these pictures were created at the time when I was profoundly uncertain about my own sexuality. And they might thus be viewed as a sublimation of my sexual longing and desires. Then, I was so taken back by some of these reactions that out of some kind of insecurity I locked these images for almost 40 years. Well, much older I did come to terms with my own sexuality and, and the times have changed. So I have agreed to show all these images again in September 2017 at the famous Dartington Hall at Totnes in Devon. New York Gallery showing is thus the third showing of these images since they were created. Nature around this is not monochrome and show, to show its magnificence I feel I need to photograph in colour, and I do, and I have done so for a long time, both for plants and for landscapes and seascapes. I often observe details, natural patterns, the interrelationships of shapes, and with my lens I try to capture what I sometimes almost call a graphic patterns or graphic designs. Such images, when enlarged, become powerful and they're stunning when hung on the walls of the modern interiors. Most of such images are now part of my portfolio. Altogether, I have now lived in London for 40 years. London is now my home and I'm endlessly fascinated by it. So much so that over the past 10 years I have created the London Trilogy, a major work which observes life of Londoners, 
but it also has a strong socio-political and socio-economic dimension. This is completely non-commercial endeavor, labor of love, and a gift to the city. City I love so much. Thank you. I'm Lala Giunidia Florio Hacker, I'm an Italian artist. I'm thankful to Maria Rechka who invited me in this exhibition in New York. Thank you very much. I love New York. I'm so sorry I cannot be there. Thank you to Gallery Montserrat. And um, I hope you love my works as I love you. <laughs> okay? I'm with you with this video. Uh, I studied in Italy uh, in the Fine uh, uh, Arts uh, Academy, uh, Academy Albertina. And five years ago, I moved uh, in Germany, in Heidelberg, that is a medieval city, uh, one of the preserved uh, city uh, from the Second World War. Uh, and uh, my home is at the top of a hill, uh, in the middle of the nature. And uh, this uh, new experience gave me a new vision of what is my art. And uh, uh, I start with Tabula Rasa. Okay? Tabula Rasa is French canvas work, uh, uh, with oil and mixed media. What it means? It means that I prepare the ground with glue and sand and after I top it with a, a black color oil and uh, uh, on the black color oil I start uh, with this explosion of colors but it, uh, it looks like my feelings, uh, my uh, impact with the world. I'm like a newborn, a tabula rata that has to be written and it's written by my experience of the world. And uh, uh, as you know, all experience are never uh, you know, fine and uh, uh, you can have also bad experience and you have cut in your life that can be cut of the soul or cut uh, because you broke your bones. And uh, so I cut all the canvas and uh, I same it with electric wire. Um, that's because we uh, pass our life to replace what we broke in ourselves on what is broken from other people and uh, okay you can have one uh, two different kind of uh, uh, canvas uh, in the in the exhibition you have uh, the canvas 8480 that is finished as you see and you have the, the other piece a little one that is made of three uh, little canvas 2420 okay this kind of painting is like an installation you can open it on the wall as you want or you can move each uh, canvas uh, where you prefer so uh, it's not one two three but you can do also three to one or two one three okay as you prefer uh, i like uh, to interact with the people who uh, is the creator of my of my heart okay and uh, at the same time i have uh, uh, a razzi tabula rasa uh, it was one of the first one. Um, Arazzi Tabula Rasa 
is uh, an untrained uh, kind of work uh, that is supported by two sticks, uh, uh, one at the top and one at the bottom, and uh, it's an open space, open canvas, okay, where you can ask, uh, you can interact with uh, gaze on other things. Uh, you you can see uh, that I. Um, uh, I theme up uh, uh, the canvas uh, with different gaze uh, that made a flower on my cat. That means that, uh, uh, okay, I'm changing, I'm changing, you are changing, uh, you are reconstructing something. And uh, you go, um, you pass uh, for the cat and you go on, okay? That's the meaning. Uh, I hope you, um, you can appreciate my work and you can love it and the colors, you know, I am an explosion. Uh, I, I show you, this is my last catalog, is a, you know, Tableau Vivant, is a, um, an exhibition that I, I saw an exhibition that I made in a castle in Italy, uh, and, uh, okay, enjoy my exhibition in New York, uh, I hope to come back next time and uh, to see you personally. Thank you. Thank you, Maria, and thank you, Gallery Montserrat. My name is Sue Maud and I'm talking you, to you today from Herefordshire in England where I live and sadly I should be with you today really. Some of my work is exhibiting on your walls and I'm just saying I hope you enjoy it. A lot of my work is to do with the sea because I used to do a lot of sailing and the rest of it is to do with some very big work that I've done and the different mediums that I use. Now, I'm a fine art printmaker and painter. I have a studio in an acre of land outside here. And of course, that's absolutely brilliant. But I have to then take work down to London and I'm sending you, and it's on your walls, some to to your gallery. Now, the mediums that I use is fine art printmaking. I can do etchings. I can also do light sensitive treatments on paper, which is gum bichromate and cyanotype. Cyanotype being the old fashioned way of doing legal documents because it didn't actually rub out at all. Now, the gum bichromate is a mixture of paint and chemical, which is mixed together, painted onto paper and put into a light box to develop, having had some um, different sorts of uh, negatives or positives on it. I'm not going to say much more now because I miss being with you today, but I do hope you enjoy my work and I promise that next time I exhibit with you, I shall come out with some big pieces of work and really, I hope that you enjoy them. Thanks very much for listening to me and enjoy the exhibition. Goodbye.